Hey everybody, welcome to another quick save review with me, RC. A quick save review, if you haven't watched it before, it's basically a Let's Play mixed with a review for a game that I'm currently playing. And I'm currently playing Infinite Beyond the Mind. And Infinite Be Beyond the Mind, it's a tough title to get through actually, it's pretty long. Infinite Beyond the Mind, but I like it, it's very sci-fi. Uh, this is a throwback uh, NES style game, and I, I'm actually quite enjoying it. Uh, part of it has to do with the awesome music. It's the first time in a while that I feel like a game really nailed the NES music, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a fun game though, it's basically like if you put, you know, a bunch of different NES games together, if you put, you know, Ninja Gaiden and Mega Man and, you know, Bionic Commando, you know, like, a bunch of these games you can tell are inspiration for this. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump in. Uh, we're gonna start solo mode. We're gonna, we're gonna actually play through uh, the first level here, and then we'll jump over to where I left off in the third area. Uh, because they actually switch up the gameplay, which I think is really cool. Uh, by the way, this is a $10 game on the Switch, so if this looks cool to you, uh, it's only $10. It's a pretty cheap game. So in the beginning, you get to pick between Tanya and Olga. Uh, I usually go with Tanya. I like the, uh, the look more so. Uh, and ob obviously you have easy, normal, expert, we've been playing on normal, and so far it's been giving me enough of a challenge here. So it says here, two young women, uh, women shared a special bond, Tanya and Olga, this extraordinary bond. is the source of an incredible power, who is used for the greater good around the world. As they grew up, their power became stronger and stronger until one day they caught the eye of a militaristic dominion, the Belgiantor Kingdom. We all knew that they were coming for us, didn't, didn't we? Bill, damn you, Bill Jantor. Wherever that is. So I like that they do the old school NES cutscene and everything here too. I quite like it. So basically, uh, the way the story goes, we're not gonna sit through the whole thing here. Is basically, you know, this lady showing up uh, is an opponent for the two girls. Blah 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 blah. Story, this that, the other thing, right? Let's jump into the gameplay because that's really what's important here. We all know that. <laughs> when it comes to NES game stories, it's never that important to uh, keep that in mind, right? Alright, so here we have Tanya. You got a double jump. She's got a cool sword ability here, which you can just keep tapping and destroying enemies with. Uh, you do have a, uh, a super powerful massive attack that you can use, which we'll use, uh, you know, when it, when it comes up here. Uh, but check this out, too. You can do the old Mega Man X wall jumping thing, which is pretty fun. Alright. So let's jump in, shall we? There we go. You can just keep on running through, taking out enemies. This is the first level, so keep that in mind. Things are going to be a bit easy right in this first area here. Uh, I kind of like this, too. In this first le uh, level here, you can actually pick between going up or down. We're going to go down this time because the last time I went through this, I went through the up area. All right, so these guys are going to shoot at you. you got to dodge. Oh, the other move that I forgot to mention, you do have an actual dodge. Oop, and I just land in the fire. So if at any point you have a bunch of bullets coming at you, you can just go boop, one of those and get past a lot of it. You can actually run through a lot of these uh, enemies too. There we go, there's a med kit. Keep on the lookout for those. Again, great NES style music. Uh, great NES style sound effects. This game has uh, very accurately captured the look and feel uh, especially uh, the feel and the music of a uh, NES game. And I, I'm just so taken aback by that. Uh, the last game I played that I feel like did the sound effects uh, and the music that much justice for in, you know, an older style game would be The Messenger. Uh, for those of you who haven't played that game, another great Metroidvania style game where uh, you play as a ninja and he bounces between 16 and 8-bit eras. Uh, very impressive game, really, really like that one. Uh, but the music was the coolest part because the music was actually styled uh, to be 16-bit and then also 8-bit. So when you change between different areas, the music would change as well. Uh, and I think that was the last game that actually impressed me that much with its 8-bit uh, music. So what you see here is what you get. I mean, this is right here going to be the bulk of the game. You are going to be 
jumping through enemies, killing a bunch of them on the way. Uh, there are other little fun areas too. They added uh, turret areas in there. Where you could jump in a turret and take out a bunch of enemies at once. There we go. We're going to jump into one, two here. We're going to pass that guy up for now. So like I said, you could run through a lot of this stuff. Now, there are those uh, forced wave fights, like the one we just had before we got to this area, uh, where they are going to force you to fight through certain enemies. Of course, there's these secrets up here, too. If you find these secrets, you get a free guy. Yes, believe me. I was shocked, too. A game with lives, like in, you know, back in the day? Who would have thought? But yes, it is a thing. Grabs another med pack here. Let's keep on going here. Love the uh, the backdrop too. Just gotta say. By the way, it's really satisfying to be able to kill like three or four dudes at once. It's a great feel. Uh, love love the background of the buildings here. This is like such a cool look. And here we go. Here's one of those turret areas I was talking about. Took him out. Take that guy out. Okay, we're getting close to the boss area here. Oh, we're just gonna keep moving on here. We're gonna grab the med pack and go. Right to the boss. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the, the ultimate move here. So this one's pretty unique. You got two guys you actually got to take, uh, take out here. Oh, got me. You got to be able to stand still for just a second to activate this. There we go. Boom, those guys ride in. They destroy those guys. Pretty nifty. You only get two of those per level, it looks like, too. So you got to be careful with them. a little bit more get down here there we go we got him and that is level one as quick as we started it it's over again just like an old-school NES game you get in the level you get out it's quick I love it so that is the area clear it took me about that time last time about five five minutes and change here so what we're going to do, actually, uh, even though level two is uh, super cool, uh, you know, actually, uh, let's jump into level two just real quick and then we'll quit out to level three just so I can show you that one real quick. Um, so look, you can see that the tile set completely changed, which is what I like about the game is that uh, even though, you know, it's a it is a uh, technically a budget, you know, title to the action game on the switch here. Um, they, the team actually went out of their way to create different art assets for all the different areas, which I think is like super impressive. Uh, and this one gets more impressive as you go on too. You see more different background areas and stuff. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna jump back to the main menu, and we're gonna jump into load, and we're gonna go to zone three where I last. This is where I left off, because I finished level one and two. And we'll see what we got to do here. But this is gonna be fun. Check it out. They added, of course. A shoot 'em up style level to it. Now, what's really cool is that the thing that she is currently piloting actually has a completely different feel to it than controlling just the girl by herself. So, when you're moving this thing around, there's actually a little bit of drift to it, so it feels like you're uh, actually, you know, piloting an aircraft. So, they did go out of their way to make it feel a bit different. Oh, there's a twofer. An aircraft made for two. I want to get one of those jetpacks. That'd be cool to, like, es you know, escape this level on a jetpack or something like that. Oh. Apparently those things are unmanned and coming after me. Who'd have thought? Woo!
But yeah, you know, guys, uh, just to say, for a $10 game on the Switch, you know, I play a lot of these uh, more, you know, budget titles, um, you know, in the 5 to $10 range uh, on the channel here. And a lot of times I never know... Wow, they're, they're getting at me here. A lot of times I never know what to expect, you know? A lot of times you never know if you're going to be surprised by one and, you know, kind of sit there and go like, oh, wow, this one's actually pretty fun. Um... Oh man, I am almost dead here. Um, and then other times, you know, you're going to get one that really uh, needed that. That brings right back to full health, thankfully. There's the end of Area 1. Um, and look, they changed the background yet again. So it looks like we got a boss here. Very cool. Alright, we're going to use our... Oh, can't move. Got to stand still. Oh, didn't use it. Shoot again. Use it. There we go. That's the tough part with using that that ultimate, is that you gotta really... <laughs> you gotta really uh, make sure you want to use it and stand still for it. There we go. Oh, I guess the eye wasn't open at that point. That's okay. We'll get this thing. But yeah, you know... I, I play a lot of these uh, budget-style games, and I just never know what I'm getting into before I start playing. So it's always a, a, a real, uh, so, uh, it's always a real pleasure to jump into one, you know, a, a game that doesn't cost a lot of money, but it is a lot of fun. In this game already, I'm having a ton of fun with. Um, a lot of it may be geared towards towards uh, nostalgia, um, just based on like the look and the music and stuff like that, but. To be honest, I'm not sure if that is actually the case, because I think this is actually a quality game, and I think that the team behind it did a very good job on it. And there we go! That is the shoot 'em up level, all done, area cleared. Now the problem is, obviously I haven't finished it yet, quick save review, I'm just showing you where I'm at in the middle of it, right? Um, but the main problem here uh, is that I don't know how long this game actually is. Now we're going to save. I've been saving each level in a different slot so that way I can come back to it and check it out. Let's check out what the tile set looks like for level 4 here. Night Encounter. Oh man. Love the look of this one. Hey look, deer. They actually animated some cool deer running by. Oh yeah, guys will like zoom in in bikes and everything as well. Oh look, there's a camouflage dude. I barely saw him until I got right up on him. Oh, he's up in the trees, too. Didn't see him up there. So that, that's another cool thing. Each level introduces not only a new tile set, but new enemies and, and sprites and all kinds of stuff, man. I am just super impressed by this and having a lot of fun with it. But guys, uh, considering it's a $10 game and I'm not really sure how long this game is, I really don't want to spoil everything for you. I think you pretty much know at this point whether this is going to be a game that you want to play or not. Uh, but I definitely fully recommend it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It looks cool. Um, you know, it, it might have like a more of a mix of an 18 and 16 bit, you know, era style graphics, but the music is all, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's all NES style. <laughs> and it looks good, it plays well, and it's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, full recommendation from me. I really, really enjoy this one. I'm going to play more of it for sure. Uh, but guys, I want to say thank you for watching, and of course, I'll see you all next time.